In this video, we're going to be installing the knob job precision adjustment system on the Huddy tire truer. Uh, this is uh, particular version is version 2.0, a little different than uh, the ones that have been selling here for the last 14 years, but uh, we think the design is uh, new and improved and we're quite excited about it. Um, first off, the um, instructions in the manual we talk about some uh, things that you need and the first thing you need is a clean tire truer. Get, if you have a brand new tire truer, congratulations, you can probably skip this step, but if you've been using your tire truer uh, for a while, um, this step is very important. You must have this thing clean in this area. Get a brush, get a vacuum cleaner, get compressed air, blow it out, brush it off, wipe it clean, do whatever you can to get this area as spotless as you possibly can. Um, the first thing we're going to do now after the cleaning is we're going to uh, remove some of the items that are in the way to do this ins installation. Um, the first thing being the pulley and we just get a one and a half millimeter wrench. We'll loosen this up and set this aside. Pull the axle out, set that aside, get a two millimeter wrench and we're going to get the um, go in here and remove the uh, trimming needle. This is a very sharp needle and uh, we don't want it in the way while we're working on the, uh, the tire truer. Take this uh, swinging arm for the trimming needle and move it all, way over to the to the right. It'll move. There we go. And uh, get that out of the way. Now we're going to take the three millimeter Allen wrench and we're going to remove the stock screws that came with the Huddy tire truer. This uh, feed screw um, on the on the newer models is a uh, black plastic. This is an older style, and it has the uh, knurled aluminum head on it. And take and remove this. Now, the uh, what we have to do is we have to clean this area around here very well. And then also this area in the back. You can see that there's some oil residue and whatnot back there. We have to make sure that gets cleaned off <coughs> really well. So uh, to, to clean, one of the things that I recommend using is a, a brake cleaner, something that'll uh, dissolve oils and not leave a residue. Uh, another thing that I like to use is uh, acetone and uh, we'll get some uh, Q-tips and we'll soak the tip of the Q-tip up with this acetone and then we'll give it a good scrubbing we'll front and back get rid of all this debris let's see we're getting it clean here you see the, the oil's almost gone scrub away at it and flip it up and we'll get this side here get a clean Q-tip do it again can't emphasize that we have to clean this very well. All right, then clean the top. Any part that you might touch with your fingers, transfer some more oil onto your hands. You don't want that either. Okay, so now we've got this as clean as possible. And uh, we're going to open up the, the kit and uh, pull out the, the, the parts of the kit. Describe them as we go along. Thing first off is the business end. This is the micrometer knob right here. It has a little set screw on it <laughs> right at the zero position. The set screw uh, um, is a uh, uh, 0 0.05 inch like a tire wrench type set screw. It's a plastic nut. This is the, the new design. And then this is the short screw uh, that's used to make the uh, micrometer type adjustment. And the other side we have a the feed screw and this feed screw has a little zinc plated steel nut and a little indicator window and then we have the, the feed screw itself. Notice that the feed screw is significantly longer than the, uh, the short screw. If you have a, a dragster kit, one of the um, dragster kits, instead of having the red 
knob on it, you'll have a yellow knob. And the instructions for either one of them are identical. So don't have to worry about this being not being for the dragster kit. It'll work. So what we do uh, from this point on is uh, we're going to take this little indicator window and we're going to uh, center the, the opening of the indicator window there around this hole right here. And then we're going to align the edge of the indicator window right along that edge there. And uh, it's a little tricky to do on camera as the camera is kind of in be between where I'm uh, sitting and the tire truer, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. I'm going to peel this off. These things stick because they uh, get a little static built up when they uh, get peeled off. Here comes the other half. Using a good sharp needle pair of uh, sorry, uh, tweezers to grab the, the window by the little quarter inch tab and then we're going to hold it right there. Use your finger as a guide and send it right around that opening. Okay, push it down with your finger and then scrub it with your tweezers. Get all the air out, make sure it's good and, good and adhered. All right, there we go. I've got that down. We're going to take a, a three millimeter Allen wrench and we're going to install the, the short screw.